Yeah. I'm Emma Twyford and I've been climbing for 23 years. Do you want to try again with a straight leg? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Uh, so today we've just been up to the Cromlock, which is behind us, and we've just done a few of the classics. So we did Memory Lane, which is E35C, uh, Left Wall, which is E25C, Resurrection, which is E46A, and uh, Right Wall, which is E56A. So it's just nice to go up and do some of the ones that I've done a few times uh, and revisit old friends. Trad's probably the main one that I like doing. I like going out and on sighting as much as possible. Uh, after Hazel, I was the second British woman to climb E9. And I've climbed probably up to 80 plus as well. Yeah. I like to think I'm a reasonable all-rounder, sort of. <laughs> I like trying as many new things as possible, so um, I like trying to do as many different styles as possible on trad. Um, I like the sport climber, I do like red pointing, but I like just going out and having a fun day, whether it's trying, trying to head point something or trying to on site something hard, or whether it's just having a fun day out at the sea cliffs with friends or having a good laugh. Um, I mean, that's the main thing about it, is, is just to have fun. If you're not having fun, then what's the point? It's nice to see, so for years in the magazines, you'd always see all the guys crushing and first ascents. And it's nice to see over the last couple of years, like in the magazines, that it's the women doing the impressive stuff. Um, I feel like if the, like loads of guys have gone and done it, then what's the difference between a girl going and doing it sometimes? She's one of the few really amazing all-round British rock climbers and she's, she's really brilliant and she never fails to amaze. Like she'll just pull out something from the bag which you just think, whoa, how did you do that? She's constantly showing the blokes up, which is great. And she's just a really nice person as well. I, mean, I, fa I like the fact that she's, she's definitely an all-rounder and she's really motivated for it. And she's not, she's not driven by sponsorship or by performance, she's just driven to climb stuff. I spent a bit of time with her in South Africa and I was really impressed. I like to think that hopefully, after there having been this really quiet period where the only two people that you really saw were Karen McGog and Lucy Creamer, although you do have some dark horses in the women's field as well, like Mary Jenner, it's just nice to see that there's a few more strong women coming through and hopefully that will lead into more of the younger generation wanting to train hard and crush as well. And I think it is showing a little bit more, you're seeing all these really strong youths coming through now as well. Cool. Right. Unless, uh, unless you feel like you want to add anything else. I can't think of anything. <laughs> no? Hopefully that was okay.